Yeah, I'm going to have the Chiefs speak to uh, uh, to that piece. I'll speak to uh, the press, and I've stated it already publicly that uh, there is no reason for that to ever happen to any member of the press. No reason. The Chief is going to have his team investigated, obviously. Uh, that's not who... Uh, that's not who we are. That shouldn't happen ever. And so uh, I've asked the, the chief to, to look into it. I, I've spoken to one of the reporters involved as well uh, to to check uh, in on him um, because it, it, that should never happen. That's bottom line. Hard stop. That should never happen. Chief, you want to speak to? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So uh, good afternoon. Um, I want to begin by saying what we really should be talking about today is George Floyd's murder and and the, the righteous protests that, that have occurred already throughout our city. Yesterday, I want to point out we had a protest of about 900 people in downtown that was completely peaceful and completely appropriate. The protests scheduled for today, we feel, are going to be completely peaceful. We appreciate the organizers flexing their schedule and changing their itinerary. And we stand in solidarity with, with our groups today. We stand in solidarity with everybody who has outraged over the incidents that have occurred in Minneapolis. Um, so as a part of our ability to make sure that we are accountable, last night as a part of our operational plan, we had embedded with our staff our internal affairs investigations unit. So as soon as we got reports of those incidents, our internal affairs detectives began operating with that. Um, I know and I truly do appreciate y'all's coverage of the protests. Y'all have put yourselves in great risk. It is a dangerous profession. Uh, I mean, I, I, I watched your live feed. It was dangerous. Um, I know you and your camera person they were facing very challenging. I know you heard lots of gunshots, um, and I truly do appreciate that. There was, there was an incident in where uh, and I, you know, we actually have a lot more intelligence about what's been going on over the last three days. The violent protesters have been fed with vehicle-borne support, uh, so we were able to monitor and interdict a lot of those vehicles over the night. And in one case, the vehicle that we were interdicting just happened to have a news vehicle behind it, uh, completely by happenstance. Um, but we were able to interdict those vehicles. And I want to make sure that the citizens of Richmond know that our enforcement of the curfew was directed solely at those that were involved in violence and destruction of our city. Across the city, we made no arrests whatsoever for curfew unless you were involved in violence and destruction of our city. We will not allow people to come in and hijack legitimate acts to disrupt our city. What's happened over the last three days is an absolute shame. The people that we arrested we are going to post and make sure everybody knows who the people are that have come down to our town and hurt our, our city, our citizens, and try and threaten our safety. It's clear from last night's actions. We gave early warnings. We gave great latitude. Persons in the crowd fired tear gas at us initially. Destruction followed. We made initial arrests. And violence continued. Fire set throughout downtown into the fan. So, um, you know, all said and done, we've made a significant amount of arrests. Initial estimates are 233 arrests overnight. We've seized 23 firearms last night, including six that were stolen from Jefferson Loan, which we were able to recover before they hit the street and were used for illegal purposes. We know persons were out shooting in, our, in all of our neighborhoods, city center, Jackson Ward, the fan, Across the city, our citizens were in, were in fear. We will not allow that to happen, and we will continue to be ever vigilant to protect our city. So, again, I, I you know, I appreciate what y'all have done. I know that there are people that, that were tear gassed, that were in the crowd. They were not targeted to be tear gassed, um, and I know a reporter was knocked down. Again, that was an unintentional act. The person who was running was actually running and. Sadly, is not as agile as uh, as we would like, and the reporter truly was knocked down. But it was not a we weren't throwing him to the ground to an effect arrest. It was it was in the it was really in a very uh, 
a tense moment and we were trying to affect other things. So again, my apologies. We, we will reach out. We're doing further investigations to make sure everything is legitimate, but everybody who was involved will follow up with directly. Jackie. Yeah, at the federal 